Have you ever thought most of the hair products we use contain aloe vera and why not make your own aloe vera juice at home than buying products that contain chemicals that can harm your hair? So my high porosity hair has been really really over it. My hair has been dry, my hair has been itchy and when this my hair feels like this, I like doing aloe vera juice like a treatment on my hair and one thing I always use is aloe vera juice. I never ever buy aloe vera products again i rather make my own at home when i know that it's organic i don't have any other ingredients it's just mainly the aloe vera and it has so much benefit to my hair especially having high porosity hair it's really really hard retaining moisture and i'm doing a three month protective hair challenge so we can't have dry hair because that's going to make my hair break a lot and shed so much so we're doing the aloe vera juice on my hair and this is the most intense moisture if you're looking for your hair to be moisturized your hair is always dry your hair is itchy just use aloe vera juice it has so so much benefits and it's helping your hair grow and your hair is getting moisturized isn't that awesome so this is the aloe vera juice i've already done the whole step if you want to you can just watch the video more in depth to see how i do this it's pretty easy just pick up your aloe vera use um cut it off and use a spoon and like scrip off the juice part then for you to remove all those chunky extra bits of it because you don't want that on your hair you just want the gel on your hair so i'm going to also sieve out all of that chunky um gel like the chunky part of it yeah that's what i'm just going to sit down because i just want mainly the gel on my hair this process can take a while but you just have to be patient to get all your gel out because you don't want those chunky bits on your hair because they're going to dry out and they are going to leave your hair like they're going to get stuck to your hair strands which you definitely do not want so when i'm done doing that you can you see closely how the chunky bits look like because i don't know how to explain it like i don't know how else to explain it but you're going to see how it pans out but one thing i'll say is that aloe vera juice is like gel is something i've been using for over the years and i've i never regret using this like it gives my hair that intense moisture that i need and my hair just feels amazing after using this and one thing i would say is that because i'm doing my three months challenge my this protective hairstyle is a little bit different than the other hairstyles that i used to do because i'm treating this hairstyle a little bit differently like with every hairstyle you have to find a way to take care of it for it to last longer since i'm doing it for three months and my hair is getting to three weeks and i'm due for a wash day so i'm going to do my wash day routine next week so look out for that but i'm just trying to make this hair last longer and what i'll be using to moisturize my hair during this period was just using conditioner and like spray bottle like water which did the job and the thing with using that is that you have to lock in the moisture so my hair has been really oily that's been really itchy and it has been so dry so this is a chunky bit you can see clearly that i'm almost done with it so like i've mentioned i'm using this i'm doing this treatment mainly because of my itchy scalp my oily hair and my head my hair being dry so we need all that sorted out because it's three months guys we're getting to three months this time around we're not slacking we're not stopping at two months so you can see how the chunky bits look like just get all the gel get um all the gel that you need from this product i have a garden in my house where i plant my aloe vera so it's very easy for me to ask, assess it but if you want to get it you can just go to the market and just get the aloe vera but if you don't have the time to make this you can always get it in a supermarket like buy the juice so now we're starting off with my hair so this is how my hair is looking three weeks in almost three weeks just a couple of days then it's going to be three weeks so i know this video might look like um it's not up to three weeks but i bulk film my videos so it might look like the videos are getting posted immediately but i always take a break from like filming i film ahead of time so yeah this is how my three weeks hair is looking i have a little bit just a little bit of new growth which i'm seeing already which i'm excited about but we're going to tackle this hair i'm going to do like a hair refresh in between doing this whole routine so you're seeing my scalp and i can see that it's dry and my hair is really really itchy so we need to sort all of that out so yeah this is a more close-up look on how my hair is looking my hair is dry yeah 
you get the you get the whole point by now so now we're going to start off with doing my sections also this is how the gel is looking up close if you want if you've not seen that already so yeah we're starting off with sectioning my hair i'm going to section off using my claw clips or like any clips that you have you just use that to section your hair because i have um like curly extension leave out so i have to be really really careful when doing my any form of treatment on my hair because you don't want to get your hair tangled or the curls looking a little bit weird so yeah that's what i was saying that every protective hairstyle has their own like problems and this one is a curly leave out <laughs> yeah so now we're going to put that directly on my scalp guys do not put you put this all over your hair yes if you can put this all over your hair but i'm trying to reduce the frizziness on my hair i'm trying to make this hair last longer so i'm applying it directly on my scalp along the line i applied it all over my hair because i realized that the um aloe vera really did not mess up the curl extensions right i made the curls more defined so i ended up putting it all over my hair but for the beginning part i focused more on my scalp and aloe vera has a lot of benefits like if you didn't know it helps to strengthen your hair like aloe vera contains a lot of minerals and vitamins that help to strengthen your hair and play a very major part in, in like strengthening your hair follicles which is amazing so if you've not used aloe vera i suggest you try it it also helps in controlling like greasy hair. you know i mentioned my hair is so oily from having to do like my conditioner and doing um locking in the moisture with my oils so my hair is pretty oily and when it dries up it gets really itchy so aloe vera helps remove all those greasy hair it helps you like remove any extra oil you have on your hair it doesn't strip your hair from your natural oils that's one thing you should know but it helps to remove that greasy feeling in your on your hair and it also helps in itchy scalp i mentioned my hair has been itchy and when you itch your hair so much it gets frizzy and old a lot faster so it helps to control that itchiness on your scalp and another thing is that it helps to protect your hair from uv damage like sun damage is a real thing on hair if you didn't know that it helps in i'm like sun damage is real it makes your hair rough it helps it dulls the color of your hair and it also makes your hair less elastic and which can lead to breakage so aloe vera also helps in uv damage like if you have any form of uv damage it helps revive your hair from that and also helps to protect your hair from uv damage and also it helps in hair growth it helps to reduce breakage which contributes in hair growth and sometimes you can be allergic like some people are allergic to aloe vera so I suggest that you put it on your skin for like two hours to make sure that you don't get any form of rashes like itchiness or any form of rashes just leave it for two hours to make sure you're not allergic to aloe vera because some people are allergic to it but i'm not and also it has like a really really funky smell which some people do not like but like from the first time i used it i did not like the smell of aloe vera but along the line i got used to it it's something that you can tolerate but trust me it's doing a lot to your hair so you can't tolerate it it's not that bad but it just has like a smell that you have to get used to so one thing i'll say is that when you're using the aloe vera just be generous with the amount you're putting on your scalp like i really went in and putting this on my scalp because my hair was really really itchy and really dry and you can also go in with oil like to lock in the moisture after but i didn't do that because i'm going to be doing my wash day routine um the following week so i didn't go in with any form of oils locking the moisture but if you're doing this for a long term like you want moisture to last longer i suggest you go in with oil on your hair to like lock in that moisture but i didn't i'm also going to be filming a refresh a wash day refresh like my refreshing my curls and all of that so i can know how i take care of this hair because with this particular hair you have to be really careful and one thing i will say because someone asked in the comment section of my other video if i'll wash my hair with this curly extensions i would definitely 
definitely not wash my hair with this extension because not because i cannot but because it sheds a lot and that's going to be hair everywhere it might this hair doesn't tangle it just gets frizzy and if you put in like mousse or water it gets like the curls come back but it can get really 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 frizzy and it sheds a lot so i'm not going to be washing my hair with this particular hairstyle rather i'll rather take them out and put in new fresh curls which i'm going to be doing every month every month i'm going to be doing a hair refresh just for me to continue to like the hair i'm going to be doing a hair refresh and i'm also going to be sharing more treatments i'm going to do with this hair because i want to try to do like more try out new treatments on my hair and see if it works out because we can do a lot with this particular challenge so i'm trying out new things with each challenge that i'm doing because i don't want it to be like the same thing because how are you going to know if how are you going to find better things if you don't try new things and i'm here to try it out for you guys so that you can know if you should try it out so if you have any um treatment or anything that you want you know, you want to try or like products just let me know and if i can i'll get the products and use them or any form of treatment if i can i can use it i'm going to also do my research i'm not just going to put anything on my hair guys so also i'm going to do the research to let you know if it works and also try it out if i can yeah if i can so yeah so i'm going to just let this video pan out so that i can see how i apply this aloe vera gel all over my hair till i get back so um yeah till i get back okay now so guys you can see that i'm applying the gel to my curly extensions and you can immediately see my curly extensions are looking better like i mentioned before that they do like these curly extensions are really good i forgot to like show a picture of how it looks like so i'm going to put it on the screen right now if i can find it a picture of how the curly extensions look like or someone was asking in the last video so this is how it looks like and yeah so i realized that my ends because one thing i'm always focused about is my scalp and my ends because those are the two main factors of seeing length retention if you don't take off your ends you're going to get split ends and which might lead to you cutting them off that means you're not retaining length and you won't see hair growth and if you don't take care of your scalp you can have excessive hair shedding and also scalp health is really really important so when after taking care of my scalp i was really feeling bad about not putting anything on my ends which i've not done because of this hairstyle requires a lot of compromising or alternative ways of taking care of it so i just decided that if this hair wants to get bad i do not care i'm taking care of my ends and it really worked well for it really worked well because when i put the aloe vera on the curl extensions it made the curls more defined which yeah it's a gel so it will definitely define the curls so i put that on my ends i focused on my ends i didn't and then after a while because i had like more um aloe vera gel remaining so i just put that all over my hair i just drenched my hair with aloe vera gel so the whole whole of the whole part of my hair literally got moisturized so no part was lacking in this video and one thing i would say is that if you can't stand this smell the next morning when i was walking around i could literally smell the hair which was irritating me at one point so i had to like get like um essential oils and put that on my hand and rubbed it through my hair so that was one way i would say for you to like reduce the smell of the aloe vera if you do not like it just get essential oils like lavender rosemary peppermint 
and just rub that on your hair for you to get rid of that smell so now we are finally done you can also give yourself a massage while doing this because yeah why not do that so we're finally done and i'm just styling my hair to just show you how it looks like so i'll always keep you guys updated on my three month challenge and so far so good we're doing great on this and i'm loving this hairstyle so till my next video i'll see you guys later if you have any questions put them in the comment section i answer all my questions and i'll see you guys in my next video bye